Good day to you, Ninth and O. This is Devotionables, Brief Devotions for Busy People. I'm Brandon, one of the pastoral interns. It's good to be with you today. We've been reading through the Bible in our F260 plan. We found ourselves now in the New Testament. And today I want to bring our attention to Mark chapter 10, which uh, Jesus speaks on in, these, in this chapter on discipleship and specifically in the area of marriage, divorce, uh, children, and, and the danger of riches. And today I want to talk to you about the rich young ruler. This is chapter 10, verses 17 through 31. And the rich young man runs to Jesus, and he has a question. And he says, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Well, it's a very important question. Uh, and if you and I were alive during Jesus' time, I just think about running up to him physically and asking, Good teacher, what do I have to do to inherit eternal life? But Jesus redirects him and says, Why do you call me good? No one should focus on their own goodness when considering eternal life. Because as you and I know, salvation only comes uh, from God alone. And so he says, why do you call me good? No one is good except God alone. And Jesus tells him that you know the commandments. And Jesus lists them. And he said to him, teacher, all these I have kept from my youth. And Jesus, looking at him, loved him and said to him, One thing you lack, go and sell all that you have and give to the poor, and, uh, and you will treasure in heaven, and, you, uh, and come follow me. And disheartened by this saying, he went away sorrowful, for he had great possessions. Well, Here's somebody that's got a lot of money. Is there anything wrong with having a bunch of stuff? No, not really. But if your stuff is more important to you than your salvation, then yes, that is an, that is an issue. And so Jesus says to this young man, sell what you have, give to the poor, and follow me. You know, don't get caught up in stuff. Our stuff cannot save us. Salvation, again, is in God alone. And think about this. What we treasure reflects our devotion. You know, when we look into our bank accounts and our, our, our check register, those things often will reflect what you and I care mostly about. And so we want to make sure that what we treasure is Jesus Christ. He left, the young man that is, because he chose stuff over obedience and following Christ. And uh, through the end of the, the verses here, through uh, 23 through 31, Jesus explains the situation. And there's this idea of trust in wealth versus trusting in Christ that emphasis, of course, in this passage is for us, for you and I, and for all people to put our trust in Christ. So what does this have to do with you and I today? I think this text shows us, one, that Jesus shows compassion to all people, rich, poor, children, or adults. Jesus has a love and compassion for all people. Second, my second question is, is this. What holds on the world keep you from following Jesus more faithfully? I wonder if you'll consider those things today as you think. Because as it goes on in this text, it says that with man it is impossible, but with God, uh, but not with God. For all things are possible with God. If we give our lives to Christ and we follow Him faithfully, obeying His commands, uh, God can do 
all things because it is possible through God. And so consider these things today uh, as you go about your day.